Wear protective goggles and acid-resistant gloves when carrying out the repairs. First remove both rear wheels and the front left wheel. Use the pedal spanner to prevent any brake fluid from running through the line during the repairs. Now bleed the brakes. Bleed off the pressure via the bleeding nipple on the brake calipers. Remove the underbody and engine compartment cladding to expose the brake line. Remove the strut near the rear separation point. Remove the interior wheel arch cladding on the front and rear wheel. Remove the cable guide on the rear left wheel. Use a separating tool on the separation point on the brake line. Ensure that the brake line left on the vehicle overlaps with the future connection point for the new line. Close the brake line with a suitable plug from the ceiling plug set. Disconnect the brake hose at the separation point between the brake line and the rear right brake hose. Close the brake line with a suitable plug. Unclip the line from the rear axle. the inside of the wheel housing and the underbody. Now you can pull the line out via the rear axle. The new brake line is delivered rolled up. Straighten the line. Now you can adapt the new line that you have removed. Fasten the pre-bent sections with adhesive tape. Ensure that you position the abrasion protection bushes in the same locations on the new line. Now attach the new line. Clip the line into place. Adjust the pre-bent positions so that there is sufficient space between the body and the line. Adjust the abrasion protection bushes as well. Connect the new brake line to the connection point to the brake hose.
Use a torque wrench to tighten the screw cap with 16 newton meters. Shorten the line left on the vehicle to the correct length. Push the cap screw for the connecting piece onto the line. Now flange the line onto the vehicle with the special tool. Tighten the screws of the special tool using a torque wrench. Use the torque values specified by the manufacturer. Then connect the brake lines. Tighten the connecting piece with 16 newton meters. Clean the connection with conventional brake cleaner and wax the area. After carrying out the repairs, remove the pedal spanner and bleed the brake system as described in WIS. Then check the system for leaks.